I'm back with a, a nice hot cup of miso soup and I'm looking forward to reading these questions. We've never even met, but uh, thanks Omar. I really appreciate, I appreciate it. Thank you. I've got a tie. It would be a tie between happiness is a warm gun and I will. I am definitely planning to travel more and perform. It's one of my dreams to go all around the world and play in every country. I would really love to do that. The song Rooftops was inspired by the time that I spent living in New York and just that hustle and bustle that permeates the city, you know, and it's about finding your own your own place, your own way to find quiet time within that hectic world. <laughs> wow. Well, I guess if I were speaking to my favorite singer, I would ask for any pearls of wisdom, any advice, any anything. Um, and thank you for saying that. <laughs> I just released my EP, Push Play, with originals and those songs. Hmm. Dun, da, da. And that's with songs that I have written. So they are all on there and it's on iTunes and Bandcamp. I don't have any international tour dates right now. I'm playing a lot around California and all of my dates are on my website. Gracias. I haven't been to Mexico in probably 15 years or so, so it is long past time for me to come back. I would love to play in Mexico. What's my opinion about Peru? It seems like a fantastic country. I've never been there and I would love to go, but from the little bit that I know, it seems wonderful. I would love to come to Europe and I would love to visit the Czech Republic. I've never been. Hopefully, hopefully someday soon. <laughs> Gabriel, thank you so much. I'm glad you like my singing. Growing up, my biggest inspirations vocally were Janis Joplin. Aretha Franklin and Celine Dion. Those were my big, big, big influences. I've also been influenced by a lot of the amazing jazz vocalists, Ella and Billy and Sarah and all those incredible, incredible singers. It's so interesting to see all of the options that musicians have now that weren't as readily available even 10 years ago. It's amazing. YouTube and iTunes and the power that the independent artist has is incredible now. And it's interesting to see that shift that's taken place with the record labels and more 360 deals and where everything's going. Uh, some things are good, some things are not so good. It's kind of like the wild, wild west, but I find it exhilarating more than uh, a negative. I'm intrigued by it. Would I like to travel to Scotland and perform? Absolutely! I don't know right now, but I hope soon. I would love to come to South Africa. Thank you, Edwin! Thanks, Barbie, for watching my cover of Stand By Me. And Amazing Grace is always a song I love to sing. Hopefully I'll put up a video someday because I, I sing it a lot live. I really do like soccer. I played it a little bit in gym class in high school and I was pretty bad, but it is so exhilarating and it's fun to watch too. Steve. 
I'm really digging the video and I'm happy to have been a part of it. And some people like the auto-tune, some people didn't. It's an interesting conversation that's going on. I dig the video and I'm happy for my involvement with it. Thank you so much. I'm really happy to hear that. My Spanish is not as good as I would like it to be, but I will sing something very soon. Thank you so much, Alejandro, for your comment. I'm so happy that you like my music. That really, really means a lot. With singing, always to develop the instrument, the craft of singing, that's always something that I seek to improve upon. I sing out a lot and practice a lot, and it's always with the desire to get better. And all the different comments and things that people say with constructive criticism, I really appreciate it because it really helps. With writing is another thing. I'm writing a lot, and each song brings about some discovery. Whether or not I realize it while I'm writing it, it might come later, but it's such a process. There's such a broad horizon with writing, so it's great that you're never going to be at your best. Hopefully you're always improving, and I'm just rambling, but with singing and with writing, I and mean with playing too, the more I play guitar, the more I play piano, bass, mandolin, all that, there's so much space to improve, and I'm really grateful for the challenge. I hope so. That would be so much fun. I hear it's gorgeous down there. I haven't. I would like to. I've written songs that are influenced by gospel songs, for sure. I would love to sing a song in Spanish. My Spanish isn't very good, but there is one that I know a little bit. Besame. Bésame mucho, como si fuera esta noche la última vez. Bésame mucho, que tengo miedo a perderte, perderte después. Hope you're not going to be too hard on my accent. I tried. Okay. I can't stand the rain. Against my window, I bring it back to sweet memories. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you, Victor. One song that always really gets to me is Eva Cassidy's cover of Fields of Gold. The way she sings it and the song itself, oh, it's just. Breathtaking, breathtaking. Mark, the Christmas album is coming very well. I'm excited to announce to everyone watching this video that doesn't already know, I've got a Christmas album that'll be coming out very, very soon, and I will have news on that soon. So please stay, uh, stay vigilant. I really hope so. I'd love to come to Brazil. It seems like a remarkable country. And as of right now, that is the last question. So thank you so much for everyone that asked questions. I really appreciate it. I wasn't sure if folks were going to write back and think of how awkward that would be if it were just me sitting alone in my room with a cup of miso soup and no questions. Sad, 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 sad. Well, thank you very much. and. Have a wonderful weekend.